Bobby Lashley might start a new feud soon, plans for Aleister Black versus Brock Lesnar, and a big update on WrestleMania 38. What's up everyone, Jose G here bringing you this week's Sports Keto Wrestling's Rumor Roundup. Bobby Lashley might start a new feud soon. Bobby Lashley kicked off night one of WrestleMania 37 with a successful title defense over Drew McIntyre. The Almighty Era is still set to continue on Monday Night Raw, and all eyes are now on the next WWE title challenger. Dave Meltzer speculated about the possible plans for Bobby Lashley on the post-WrestleMania 37 edition of the Wrestling Observer Radio. Meltzer explained that the conclusive finish to Bobby Lashley's match against Drew McIntyre didn't hint towards a rematch. Meltzer highlighted the shortage of credible babyfaces to go up against a heel champion like Bobby Lashley. Brock Lesnar is not expected to be back anytime soon. WWE could end up booking The Fiend Bray Wyatt in a storyline with Bobby Lashley. Meltzer stated that The Fiend is in the only top tier babyface on Raw who can have a program with Bobby Lashley. Meltzer said that having a rematch between Bobby Lashley and Drew McIntyre at the next pay-per-view could be only one possibility. However, the WrestleMania 37 finish wasn't ideal for setting up a compelling rematch scenario. WWE Superstar reportedly won Vince McMahon's trust. Apollo Crews was one of the biggest headline makers at WrestleMania 37. The Nigerian Prince captured his first Intercontinental Championship after beating Big E. Dabakata reappeared on TV to help Apollo Crews defeat former New Day member in the Nigerian drum fight. WrestlingNews.co reports that Vince McMahon is finally behind the repackaged version of Apollo Crews. The belief backstage in the WWE is that Apollo Crews has found himself and is working hard to improve as a performer in his new avatar. The report stated that fans should expect to see Apollo Crews in several significant segments on SmackDown in the months to follow. He will also continue the Intercontinental title storyline with Big E. The return of Dabakato, now known as Commander Aziz, as Apollo Crews' muscle man, is an interesting creative call from the WWE. Aziz's real name is Baba Tunde, of Nigerian descent, and his inclusion in this angle could help elevate Apollo Crews' new character. WWE might also not draw attention to Aziz's past Raw Underground appearances. Apollo Crews has now won both mid-card single titles in the WWE, but he has yet to have a sustained run supported by favorable booking decisions. The man formerly known as Uha Nation has adopted a Nigerian accent, and he is undoubtedly putting all the extra hours to perfect the gimmick. WrestleMania Backlash 2021 is the next WWE pay-per-view which will focus on the fallout from Mania 37. WrestleMania Backlash is scheduled to occur on Sunday, May 16th, and the pay-per-view could feature a title match rematch between Apollo Crews and Big E. However, going by WWE's trend, the company could even have a championship match on an upcoming episode of SmackDown before Backlash. Apollo Crews is being groomed for a prominent run, and the 33-year-old superstar's supporters will hope WWE officials back his push with some solid and compelling booking. What happened backstage with Sasha Banks and Bianca Belair at WrestleMania? The first night of WrestleMania ended with a phenomenal main event between Bianca Belair and Sasha Banks. The EST of WWE won the SmackDown Women's Championship after an action-packed match and fans and pundits have deservedly praised the performances of both women involved in the historic title match. A Fightful Select report revealed that Sasha Banks and Bianca Belair were greeted collectively with applause backstage after the match. WWE personnel and colleagues of Bianca Belair congratulated the superstars after their successful match. The report also says that Montez Ford rushed to the ring after the show went off the air. Sasha Banks may have lost, but the former SmackDown Women's Champion said to be very happy and emotional after returning to the backstage area. The story buildup for the SmackDown Women's title feud did not meet lofty expectations that fans had when WWE first announced the match for WrestleMania 37. However, Sasha Banks and Bianca Belair forced fans to forget about the lackluster booking and stole the show in front of 25,000 plus fans at WrestleMania 37. Sasha Banks' performance in particular has been widely commended in the aftermath of WrestleMania's first night. The boss is undisputably one of the best in-ring workers in WWE, but her most recent match has led few people to believe that she may be the greatest of her generation. Plans for Aleister Black vs. Brock Lesnar Former NXT champion Aleister Black has been missing from action for a long time. While some fans were worried that Black's name might pop up during WWE's flurry of releases earlier this week, he is still a part of the company. Aleister Black may not have had a significant run on the main roster, but at one point he was being groomed to become the next WWE champion. 
PW Insider reported that WWE does have plans for Aleister Black, and he has been shooting vignettes for his return. It will be interesting to see if Black's new avatar will help him find success in WWE or not. Dave Meltzer of the Wrestling Observer Newsletter revealed that Aleister Black and Drew McIntyre were both being groomed to become top stars in WWE. However, the company chose McIntyre to dethrone Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania 36 instead of Black. Aleister Black had turned heel in August of 2020. He was last seen in October during his short-lived feud with Kevin Owens. Last month, it was reported that he had been dealing with some minor injuries. The Wrestling Observer Newsletter confirmed the story that Black had been filming promos lately, indicating that his return is imminent. Aleister Black is one of the most underused superstars in WWE, so it comes as a surprise that he was at one point being considered to become the next top champion. Possible Big Matches for WWE Universal Champion Roman Reigns Roman Reigns made the WWE Universe acknowledge him when he beat Edge and Daniel Bryan at WrestleMania 37. In the main event of Night 2 of the Show of Shows, the Tribal Chief retained his Universal Championship. One reason Edge or Daniel Bryan did not win could be that WWE wanted to protect Reigns for big money matches in the future. There has been a lot of speculation in regards to who Reigns is going to feud with next. Although many feel someone like Big E or Cesaro should get a chance at Reigns' Universal Championship, even if they do, Reigns will likely not be losing the title anytime soon. Dave Meltzer of the Wrestling Observer Newsletter has noted that WWE chose to protect Roman Reigns for potential matches against big names like John Cena, Brock Lesnar, and The Rock instead of having Daniel Bryan or Edge win at WrestleMania. The report stated that Daniel Bryan simply isn't someone who is seen as a world champion by WWE right now. As for Edge, Meltzer believes the primary reason he lost was to build Roman Reigns for his upcoming clashes against bigger names. Brock Lesnar, John Cena, and Dwayne Johnson are all former WWE champions with the company and may be counting on for a big comeback. If WWE plans on having Reigns feud with all three upon their return, it looks like we are in for a long haul with the Tribal Chief as Universal Champion. Bo Dallas reportedly expected his WWE release. Bo Dallas was one of the names who was released by WWE on Thursday. Multiple superstars, including big names like Samoa Joe, Mickey James, were all let go by WWE. While the release came as a shock to many of the WWE superstars, Bo Dallas may have already known that he would be getting released. Roy Wyatt's real brother Dallas has been out of action since late 2019. Many expected him to be released last year when WWE released superstars and employees owning to budget cuts due to COVID-19. However, the fact is that he wasn't released by the company and led fans to believe that the company might have something in store for him. As per Dave Meltzer of the Wrestling Observer Newsletter, Bo Dallas had already started preparing for life after wrestling. He insinuated that Dallas knew his days with the company were limited because he wasn't being used. Bo Dallas and alleged girlfriend Liv Morgan are reportedly running a farm together and have been involved in a family real estate business. WWE superstar Lana recently visited the farm and shared a picture of herself with Liv Morgan on social media. Dave Meltzer has also noted previously that Dallas and Morgan have been living together and have started a family real estate business to prepare for life after wrestling. Update on WrestleMania 38. WrestleMania 38 is reportedly still scheduled to be a single night event. According to a recent tweet from WrestleVotes, who regularly posts news, rumors, leaks, and updates from the world of professional wrestling, plans are still in place for only one night of wrestling action on April 3rd, 2022. There are many in the wrestling community and the online wrestling world who believed WrestleMania 38 would be a two night event, following suit with the previous two WrestleMania events, 36 and 37. However, as it stands, this appears not to be the case. The WrestleVotes tweet reads as follows, quote, Now that the weekend is behind us, nearly everyone I've spoken to regarding WrestleMania had positive things to say. Aside from the weather, everything went smooth. The two-day event was viewed as a success, but plans still remain for a one single night next year in Dallas, end quote. If WrestleMania 38 is set to return to the original format, it will be the first time since WrestleMania 35 that the event will take place entirely over a single night. Despite the rumor regarding WrestleMania 38, both WrestleMania 36 and 37, which were held over two nights instead of one, were considered successes for WWE. The new two-night format pleased many fans, with some highlighting the fact that it gives more WWE talent the chance to shine on the grandest stage of them all. The format could also be seen as a positive from a commercial standpoint 
standpoint, given it draws more attention and potentially more fans to the showcase of the Immortals. But there is still plenty of time between now and WrestleMania 38. There may be another U-turn and WWE could opt to maintain their new two-night structure. Thanks for watching this week's Sports Keto Wrestling Rumor Roundup. For more rumors and exclusive content, be sure to follow us on all social media. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Download the Sports Kita app for the most up-to-date stories in the world of wrestling. <laughs>